We have all admired those classy ladies wondering what their secret was. These are ladies who look like that, that and that. Ladies who always look put together, who look expensive without showing any logos, who get compliments and look attractive without showing too much, and who always feel confident. In today's video, I walk you through the main mistakes that prevent you from being that woman. I give tips on how to elevate your look, get more compliments and become a better version of yourself. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Anna Gotsik and on my channel I publish all of the inspiring and cozy things in my life, shopping, travel, beauty and so much more. And today I'm going to speak about classy style, elegant style. <music> my favorite style when it comes to clothing and to overall looks that's why I am really happy to share everything I know about it with you today this is the style that I wear most of the days before we start I wanted to have a little catch up with you and to thank all of you who has written me comments regarding our Canadian trip and left me some tips for our trip I'm really really thankful and excited about our trip even more Today is a sunny day in Warsaw and I'm getting ready for a date with my husband. That's why I'm dressed in a classy dress and I thought that it's going to be appropriate to speak about classy style dressed this way. I'm just going to finish my look uh, by putting on the earrings. Uh, these are Van Cleef and Arpels earrings in white gold with white mother of pearl. I'm also wearing a velvet headband. Uh, this look would be nice without a headband as well, but uh, if you watched my previous video, you know I'm experimenting with heatless curls right now. Uh, the journey is going well, but I'm not 100% there yet. I'm also going to put my perfume of the day. The perfume of the day is going to be Elden Rock by Christian Dior. As we're uh, getting into spring, I am wearing this perfume more and more. This is very much of a spring-summer perfume for me. So let's jump into our today's topic. I don't have lots of other news to share with you today. Spring is starting very, very uh, slowly here. We don't have lots of warm days right now, so we're not spending too much time outside. We are mostly cozy at home. And before we get into the seven mistakes you want to avoid if you want to look classy, I wanted to say that you don't have to feel pressured to look classy every single day, all the time. Even if you love classy style and you want to be classy, you, you don't have to be classy all the time because life is full of different moments and you can have different moods and it's normal. It's the way we are, we are people and sometimes we just feel down and we want to be in our pyjamas, we want to be in our loungewear and sometimes we just want to relax, read a book, drink a cup of tea and don't bother about the outfits. You have to understand that even the classiest women that you can imagine are sometimes wearing their pyjamas or loungewear, having their hair messy in a bun, having a breakout on their faces and they are happy with that. So having those moments is completely fine. What makes you not classy is showing up with that look to work, for example, or to a restaurant on a date. That is not classy. But if you are at home or if you are surrounded by your friends in some like cozy ambience, cozy situation, that's fine and not to be classy. Without further ado, let's get into my tips. Tip number one, never wear clothes made of cheap fabrics. And that means that you have to be really attentive while choosing the clothes that you buy, especially if you don't buy only premium and luxury clothes. If you go to mass market shops like Zara and H&M, you have to be attentive and buy clothes that are made of natural materials, of more expensive fabrics. You have to choose cotton, wool, cashmere, silk, this is very rare in places like Zara, but anyway, these are the fabrics that you should generally stick to. Clothes made of cheap fabrics like polyester are generally not going to look classy, they're going to look cheap and uh, these clothes are going to be worn out really fast and they're going to look old very fast. 
The second tip is to never wear clothes that are not taken care of properly. You should always be attentive to iron your clothes, to take care of them, to see if there is some damage on them or some stains that you should take care of. Never leave your stains on your clothes for a long time because then it will be almost impossible to get rid of those stains because you really don't want to end up with a messy look. Messy look can be trendy but this is not classy. Classy style is about having clothes that are ironed and that are in perfect condition. My third tip is to avoid very bright colors in your clothing if you want to look classy. It is possible to have something bright in your outfit and still look classy but it's very easy to go wrong and make a mistake. That's why I would advise you to avoid that. It's really better to stick to muted colors, to pastels, to the shades of beige, but it is still possible. And here is an example of how I think I styled a bright colored dress, a bright red dress in a classy way. So this is a red dress from Self Portrait. The dress has long sleeves, the chest is completely closed, you have a round neck, it has midi length. As the dress is not revealing at all, it is still classy, although it is so bright red. And I didn't pair it with flashy shoes, with trendy shoes. I paired it with a classy pair of black sandals and a classy black mini bag. That's why I think the outfit altogether looks classy. And another thing about it is the lace on the dress is really high quality. That's why the whole outfit fit still looks expensive although it is so bright. The fourth tip is that if you want to look classy it's better to generally avoid trends. Unfortunately trends are mostly not classy and not elegant. Here are some of the examples of what is really not classy. I will put those on the screen and all of these pictures I have taken from websites after I googled trends 2023. So if you want to see pictures of how you shouldn't dress, of what is not classy or elegant, you should just look at trends. For example, a big trend right now is cargo pants and everything with those kind of cargo pockets. And if you want to look classy, avoid these kinds of things. As well as another trend regarding jeans is baggy jeans. Baggy jeans, really like big jeans, are not classy at all. Another trend that is going to be very popular this spring and summer is low-rise pants, low-rise jeans. Showing your stomach, showing your belly with a, a crop top. And that is really, really not classy. It can be fun if you're a teenager or it can be fun if you're going to a beach party but generally it's not classy, it's not elegant and you shouldn't be going around showing your belly to people if you want to look elegant. One of the other trends that is still here this season is leather clothing and leather clothing is something that is quite popular in the mass market and lots of women buy leather uh, pants or leather skirts but I would say that this is not classy and if you want to wear something leather, you should go for a leather jacket. And leather pants and leather skirts is a no if you want to look classy. It can very easily turn into a vulgar look. Another trend that is really not classy and not elegant is called underwear as outerwear. I think I shouldn't get too much into details here because it's obvious that wearing underwear pieces as if this is something you can go out wearing in the street is completely wrong. You cannot go out wearing something that looks like a bra without anything on top. This is really not classy. On the other hand, here are two trends that you can adopt for your classy and elegant style. First is called purple hues. Generally, this purple color is fashionable for spring and summer 2023. And this color is quite muted, not too bright. That's why it's going to look really nice in your classy wardrobe. And it's easy to find a shirt in this color or a pair of Pants would be more complicated, I would say a pencil skirt would be nice as well, or just a scarf, adding a silk scarf to your muted outfit uh, would be nice. And another trend that you can adopt for this season is lace. 
lace is something that is always elegant and classy as long as it's high quality. I know it's hard to find lace of high quality if you are shopping in mass market, but it is still possible. It is still possible to find nice lace dresses or lace tops in Zara. But if you want to go into a premium segment and look for something a little bit more expensive, I would strongly advise paying attention to such brands as Self Portrait, Maj and Sandro. This three brands always have the dresses which are made of lace and those always look expensive here are a few examples that i really really love and i think they would look really classy the fifth tip is similar to the fourth one is to avoid trendy shoes as much as you should avoid trendy clothes you should avoid trendy shoes those big chunky shoes that sometimes can be trendy big chunky sneakers they are not feminine they are not making you look better in any way and i would advise you to avoid them and another thing that if you buy shoes that are timeless well they're going to last for a long time you're going to save lots of money if you buy classic white sneakers like a pair of white leather sneakers if you buy a pair of classic black pumps if you buy a pair of black leather knee-high boots that's going to be something you're going to wear for a really long time and that's going to look classy and elegant. The sixth tip is to avoid cheap metal jewelry. It's always better to purchase a pair of sterling silver earrings or gold earrings if you want to than to purchase cheap metal jewelry that you can find in H&M or in Primark. Because first it's bad for your ears but even if you don't have allergy for this metal and your ears are fine with this metal it looks cheap and it doesn't look elegant. Uh, the colors of those metal earrings or rings, they fade away quite fast and you can see the color rip off and it looks really not elegant, really not nice. It is better to invest in silver or gold and wear those pieces of jewelry for a longer time. And also it's better to choose delicate pieces of jewelry because chunky big chains on your neck for example are not classy and it's very easy to go wrong with jewelry if you have like really big uh, stones which are like not diamonds it's going to look cheap that's why it's better to have delicate nice pieces made of silver or gold my seventh tip is not really about clothes or accessories it's about your looks and your looks should be as natural as possible artificial beauty is really not classy and not elegant of course not all women love their natural hair color or when we age we want to dye our hair but if you want to look classy it's best to choose the colors for your hair which look natural it's very important to avoid those blonde unnatural shades those yellowish shades that look really bad also red colored uh, hair can look really cheap because usually it looks really unnatural and also those dark black colors might look very fake as well when it comes to face and makeup natural beauty is key as well for classy style you should pay attention to the health of your skin it's absolutely okay to wear makeup and still look classy you can even wear red lipstick a bright lipstick and still look classy but if you wear a red lipstick you shouldn't go too far on your eyeshadow you cannot do a smoky eye and a red lipstick i think it's obvious and also natural beauty applies to face fillers and all of the unnatural things that you can do to yourself for example lip fillers too much botox on your face fake breasts and all of the other things that make you look really unnatural and the face that cannot move at all and is expressionless is not classy at all usually classy and elegant women they age but they age gracefully and beautifully the condition of your skin and the health of your skin is key in this i think i have covered all of the mistakes that you should avoid if you want to look classy and the last thing that i wanted to say is that confidence is key and i understand that being confident in the way you look is 
quite a complicated task but you should really aim for it going out in this world and being sure that you look fabulous and that you love yourself is really the most important thing don't forget about your posture a smile and a positive attitude I really hope that what I have told you today was useful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to push that like button and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you very soon. Bye.